everybody. It's Friday, so it's time for your Friday lesson. My mess, my desk is a mess. Uh, sorry, but um, we're going to do this one fairly quick, I hope. I've tried to do it, and it kept getting extremely long. So um, I'm not going to really show you doing anything, because every time I tried, I would hit 30 minutes. What our project is, is making a background with found object stamping. All right. This is the example of something I did. It's not an art journal page. It's actually a divider I made for my journal suit box. Um, but everything on here is found object stamping. And it makes for a really cool background. Uh, I started with um, just my regular paper. I put down some washi tape. I put uh, um, Mod Podge some um, scraps of paper, book pages, stuff like that. Muse sheet music down. And then I just started smearing paint on and then stamping with my found objects and making marks. And that's the kind of thing we're going to do. It's very fun, it's very relaxing, and it's totally no-brainer. So, what do I mean when I say found object stamps? Well, this is mine. This is where I keep all mine. And um, nothing in here is a true-to-life stamp, Okay. Uh, there are, for circles, I have washi tape rings in all different sizes. Here, let me go down so you can see them. Washi tape dispensers in all different sizes. I have a plastic tape dispenser. It makes a really cool, let's see if I can find it here. It makes a really cool impression uh, because you get that, that openness of the rings on it. Um cough syrup containers uh, old gift cards are great for making lines um, like these the lines and the smushes they're done with the card um, <clears throat> here's a, one I just emptied I haven't played with it yet I am hoping that that will actually work because look how big a circle I can make <laughs> yeah I know who gets excited about that? Uh, some stuff that I just had interesting textures. Like, this is an old coaster. And I loved the texture on it. And I wondered what kind of pattern it would make. Well, that's what kind of pattern it makes. And I liked it. So it stayed in here. Uh, this is part of a no-skid rug thing. Um, again, it made a really cool texture. So I kept it. Um, <laughs> all right, I went to the dollar store and I started picking up things that had weird, weird textures or designs to try. This was a badminton birdie. Uh, here is the texture that it made. I actually think it probably would spray better as a stencil, uh, than, than dipping it in paint. But it, it did stay up and it is kind of cool. But I think if you sprayed through it instead, you'd actually get that wing look. The nose of him's in here too somewhere. I just put it in paint and then swirled it. Um, let's see if I can find it. Let's see. He's in here somewhere. There it is. I just dipped him in paint and then put him down and then swirled him like that. And made these really cool swirls. And I like, I liked him, so he stuck around. I don't know how much I'll use it, but he stuck around. Um, this actually works better because it's so flimsy as a stencil than a stamp, but I keep it in here anyway. This scrubber, okay, it was from the dollar store. I got like four for a dollar. It made these really cool dot um, patterns. So it's kind of almost like, you know, when you flick your paint, but it's just so much thicker. It's, it's really raised, and sometimes it has globs places. I really liked it. Um, more um, cough syrup containers. I have horrible allergies, so I get a cough for a syrup prescription like, I don't know, a couple times a year. All right, here is one that I was thrilled about. If you use these kind of tape dispensers, uh, here's the empty one. I've, I've been trying to figure out something to do with these because I hate just throwing them away. Well, I fried them open 
and I thought how cool is the fact that it's got these gears in here. So I thought maybe I could, let me, let me get the ones I've been playing with out. I thought maybe I could actually use them in mixed media as gears, but they have these big thick plastic with metal bases things on here. And I really couldn't come up with a good way to get that off because it's actually one molded piece of plastic, the whole thing is. So then I got the idea to start trying to stamp with them. Well, they stamp great. Um, I love them. So if you're, you know, if you're wanting to do an inexpensive steampunk, um, this made the gears. There, I, I want to find some way to get the cog on this side stamp. But until then, the other side makes a great big, like, washer type um, stamp. The other side, this side where the tape is, you end up with... This one, which gives you, again, a big washer kind of stamp. But the other side has these teeth. And you actually get the impression of those teeth. And I wish you could feel it because all of this has texture. The, um, the pieces left actually makes a good teeny tiny brayer. So then sponge, of course, it gives you... That distinctive sponge texture. Um, I, I even stamped with the lid. Although, you know, it was just kind of a mush. So, what I want you to do is look at your trash. Uh, look, look through your kitchen. Um, your art supplies. Anything with cool texture that you think you can stamp with. And make you a cool...